This is Asma. She's eight and she depicts the state of a failed labor system prominent in a number of developing countries. Child labor, unequal pay, and remunerations much lower than starvation wages. She resembles an unregulated market that paves way for exploitation, manipulation, and even unlawful acts. And she isn't the only one suffering. Workers, regardless of age, gender, and ethnicity, are forced to be a part of this endless cycle. The unregulated markets in developing countries like Bangladesh, brimmed with unskilled labor and sluggish recruitment methods, bring in problems for both the employers as well as the workers. Blue Collar takes on these problems head on. Blue Collar aims to solve recurring problems in these labor markets with a direct focus on the aforementioned. Blue Collar is a construction real estate industry service that makes connection between workers and construction companies easier, faster, and more effective, with both parties receiving what they rightfully deserve. Our company's simple registration procedure combined with its worker-friendly approach is able to draw in more workers. We have a one-way flowchart integrating five simple steps, starting from signing up to training, worker negotiations, and finally till the workers are employed. Blue Collar is there every step along the way. Our ability to reach people even on feature phones makes our project far more innovative and universal compared to alternatives. Similarly, we are there for the employers starting from worker vacancy to large-scale worker management increasing efficiency every step of the way. We expect to register able-bodied workers that are of legal age with focus initially on the workers living in close proximity to the construction sites and are seeking better opportunities. As for the companies, our focus is on foreign construction companies expanding their reach in developing countries like Bangladesh. These companies prefer to employ skilled workers while maintaining ethicality. Blue Collar will be able to cater to their needs unlike existing agencies and contractors. Blue Collar is unique in its ability to content both workers and employers. We are able to provide wage safety, benefits and legal support to the workers, giving them representation on the legal front while also making skilled workers with our training system that benefit construction companies seeking workers with expertise. We'd strengthen the much weakened unions in these countries as a result of financial strain with the sense of community and stability workers get. This is an essential part of the mutually benefiting blue collar ecosystem. Our intuitive user interface combined with our efficient financial transaction makes us the primary choice for workers and both companies. Our worker agency verification system ensures there's transparency and no form of illegality contrast to existing alternatives. The primary sources of our revenue is from our workers and the companies we'd be working with, with additions from data sales and advertisement. However, our worker-friendly approach gives us an edge as we'd be charging them less than 12 cents for a day of work, contrast to existing exploitative alternatives that sees them pay 17 to 22 percent of their daily wages, amounting to more than a dollar. For year one, the company would face a net $700 in losses, but we'll be able to bounce back in year two and year three, with subsequently $5,197 and almost $10,950 in profit. Blue Collar projects steady and gradual growth over the years, slowly integrating itself in the complex market. And with growth, Blue Collar aims to expand and incorporate other aspects to its innovative approach to the labor market. In Phase 1, we want to establish connections between workers from all over the country, so workers can better understand working conditions and are aware of in-demand skill sets. And we also want to establish commuting services for our workers, making it beneficial for workers and companies and to better manage time. In Phase 2, we would partner up with small banks with our system. This betters our digital transaction methods while promoting the banking agenda of integrating low-income individuals into the system. This makes them eligible for small loans and other benefits, giving them more financial amnesty. In Phase 3, with growth, we would focus on more specialized sector. Furthermore, we will also focus on manpower export, directly going against the predatory brokers existing currently. The project is the combination of the ideas and work of four high school students. And as it found traction, we brought in mentors who helped refine this promising initiative and give us better insights on the challenges we're facing. Furthermore, we are also planning to work with lawyers from law firms and worker union leaders to better understand the dynamics of a fast-paced labor market. And with that said, we hope that we would be able to excel in blue ocean competition, inspiring significant change to an industry that needs desperate attention. Thank you very much.